Hi guys, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we are doing a little mini spring update in our sunroom and I thought I would share with you just what we've been doing lately and not only what we have done, but what we plan to do. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead, hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and let's jump in. to give you a tour of one of my absolute favorite spaces. This is the space that absolutely sold me on this home. When we walked in, I had one of my good friends with me and I said, this is my house. And she was like, really? Because if you'd seen it before, you would realize that it did not look anything like this. And it was pretty much grim and dark and a little bit dreary and stuffed full of furniture. and. We've just kind of worked our magic on it little by little. And even though we had literally just moved back from being overseas and had almost no money, we were really working on a very tight budget, trying to literally restart our entire home. That's a big burden, especially when you have children who are in their teens. You've got, I have, we actually had one in high school, middle school and elementary school. So there's a lot of financial burdens that go with that, especially when you've now got to buy new cars and a new house. And so this room has developed over time and it's still developing over time. I, I told my husband earlier, we should just wait until it's done. It's so close, I've almost got it to where I want it to be. And he's like, you know, I really think that people just really enjoy seeing the process. So it's his fault if you guys don't like this. <laughs> But I just wanted to take you around and show you just the different parts that we're working on and what we've been able to achieve so far and show you some of the new pieces that we just got that I totally scored at the Restoration Hardware Outlet. Okay, enough chat. Let's just walk around. All right, grab your coffee. All right, if you don't have your coffee or your tea or your beverage of choice, grab that and let's have a little chat about this room. Come on. Oh my goodness, look at this gorgeous, amazing, Oh, so yummy piece that I found at the Restoration Hardware Outlet for 70% off. Oh, yes, you heard me right. So it's beautiful and I love the clean lines of it, but I love that it's this black oak. You know, I did my recent trends video for 2021 and I forgot to tell you guys that wood tones, the ones that you're gonna be looking for are black oak. And I think that the black oak is gonna be a color that I certainly want and I think a lot of other people are going to be wanting more of. And a lot of times you might find an ebony might be the description word that if you're looking for it because it's actually a little bit hard to find and it typically, I can only find it in custom pieces or really high end or really high end furniture. So it is a little bit harder to find, but this baby was quite the score. Now I've got the TV here and it's my intention now that I have the cabinet here um, that I want to be able to raise this up and go ahead and have it mounted on the wall and then put some artwork up above. You guys might remember from Christmas time we had the really inexpensive console table from Ikea here with the little ottomans. Don't worry, they are not gone. They just moved to another location in the house and they look really good there. So um, yeah, so we, we needed a place for our TV. We needed a spot to be able to hang out and I just love being able to put a black TV on a black wall because it really just disappears. And once I get this up, I can fill this underside with books, just like you might do if you had a fireplace, you could just have some simple things underneath that obviously won't obstruct your view of the TV. And I'm gonna make this extra awesome. So until then, let's go sit on the couch and hang out for a minute. If you watched my recent pillow styling video, then you saw that I have just switched out my cushions in here and I ended up with a final configuration that wasn't even included in that video. So there you go, more bonus content. I mean, you could literally take these pillows and rearrange even just these several different ways. And I think that that is so fun because we've anchored the room with the most amazing, so comfortable Pottery Barn uh, sofa. This one, I will leave the name, it is the, this is the Tallulah, and I will leave the exact material with the description down in the description box because I had to go to the store and get the samples and double check to make sure that I had the exact one so I could recommend it to you guys. So I did all that, I did my homework so that I can tell you the exact color and everything because I didn't know this because I actually found this at the Pottery Barn outlet. I didn't know what material it was 
I just fell in love. I had to have the sofa. It was just one of those things. I guess I'm kind of like that. I have an idea of what I want and then I spot it and then I know. Um, so this one is a performance fabric and I am amazed that it lasts this long. Now, next week we could end up spilling something on it and I'll be all tears, but we've had it now for almost two years and with three kids, a dog and me, <laughs> It's lasted pretty well and it's amazing. So I've got some velvet and I've got linen, I've got leather, and I even have some tweed on the sofa and it is making me so happy. And I just love how luxurious and elegant it feels and just, we love hanging out in this room and watching TV at night with the kids and watching movies and it's just very cozy. And then of course right here, I've got my great spot to be able to set my cup down. I've got my coffee table loaded up with books. For a long time, for a while, I went through a very minimal phase. I had put a lot of my stuff away and then I'm just back. It's just one of those things. I go through those moods where, okay, now I want this coffee table fully loaded up and I've got so many new books on my coffee table. I've got everything from Made for a Living by Amber Lewis. I've got Ellen DeGeneres' Home. I've got Glamorous Living by Jan Showers. I've got the Architectural Digest. They're big, um, I think it's like 100 Living or something like that. Um, and then I've got like vintage books and um, just other Stuff, you know, it's like my magazines and my books that I just really really love and I've got it fully loaded up because This is where I like to sit on Sundays The kids like to watch a movie Jack and the kids like to watch a movie I like to read a book or a magazine and we're pretty much all happy. So um, I also put out my favorite vase from Pottery Barn and my hurricane glass candle holders because I just wanted some warmth in here. I wanted to be able to have some candle light and it's really nice because they're, the glass is so high that even when the candle's lit, I don't feel like anybody's in danger in here. So I really love having this and all of that is anchored by this really great inexpensive skin rug. It just, this room is a bit of an odd shape and I like to be able to see a little bit of the wood floor. So I ended up choosing a rug like this because it's got a little bit of a, an ambiguous shape and it just makes the room just feel a little bit more flowy. That's the technical term. <laughs> Back behind me, you'll see, I still have the furry bean bag that we got around Christmas time. The kids just pull it out. It gives us an extra bit of seating. And then instead of a Christmas tree right now, we have the fig and trimmings off of the camellia bush, which is in bloom. Speaking of which, I found the most beautiful, here, let's scoot down here. I'll show you what I found. Over here at the end, I've brought in my inexpensive table. This actually from Target. I know, sometimes it does amaze me. They're like 50 bucks. And I would really like to replace this and the coffee table with real wood pieces. It's something that's on my goal list. I have my eye on a couple things and I'm hoping that's something that I can add pretty soon. But the problem with having the Restoration Hardware outlet nearby and a Pottery Barn outlet is that it's so tempting to just wait and see if I find something. And I'm totally open to finding something at an estate sale or at you know a yard sale or a vintage shop or something like that. I'm totally open to that. It's just that this room has very specific size needs and so sometimes that can be really hard to source just randomly. Sometimes I just need to go and buy the thing that fits and works in the space. So stay tuned, we'll see how that works out. But I, I am dying over this crackled blue vase. I don't have a lot of color in my house, but when I bring color in, I love for it to be this sort of muted, watery kind of feeling and oh, this, I'm gonna go and buy this for my mother and my mother-in-law because I know that they would love to have this base. And it's just the perfect size, it's the perfect shape. This is one of those essentials that we talk about so often when we talk about the capsule home and purchasing those basic items. They're not basic at all. They don't have to be basic, in, but they're basic in function. They're functional items that you just love and you can always move from room to room. You can rework them in your own space. This could go to the coffee table. It could go to the kitchen or the bedroom. So that's what I love is having something like this. It fits the camellias beautifully. Eucalyptus would be gorgeous in it and it's just the perfect face. And then um, I'm dying. Oh my gosh, you guys, just go buy one of these candles. It smells 
Oh, it smells so good. And that's from the, did they say LAFCO, LAFCO? I don't know how they say their name, but this is the champagne candle. And um, I didn't know this when I ordered it. Um, the glass is actually um, hand blown, mouth blown, something like that. <laughs> but if you can see, it's got a beautiful kind of like a crackly finish in it. And so when this is burnt down, I will empty that and you could either put a tea light in it or knowing me, I would put pencils and pens in it, you know, in the office. There's a lot of different things you can do with those jars when they're done. You don't just throw them out. It's so the candle's a little bit more, but you have a vessel that you can really use. And I think that's really cool. So then we've got a basket down here, my favorite tasseled blanket. I've stolen, can you believe that? I have stolen the lamp from my bedroom. So I'm gonna have to take it back at some point. Either that or you'll need to stay tuned and see what I have in mind for my bedroom makeover that is coming, hopefully hopefully very soon, um, but I don't know. I don't know if it will end up staying here and I will do something different in my bedroom eventually. That's what I'm saying is I'm kind of in that weird transitional place where I have a lot of ideas for the rooms, but it's just, you know, I just take my time and I'm building them slowly. And a lot of times with my clients, we do all of it at once. And you get to see that a lot on this channel where we make over the rooms all in one fell swoop. I love doing that and if I, if I had the money, <laughs> <laughs> to just pull the band-aid off and just get the whole thing done. I probably would just do it um, But you know, I can also be patient And so I just want to encourage you guys that wherever you are and wherever you are on that spectrum of whether you're doing it in a day or you're doing it over time It's okay to just enjoy your space in the meantime and that's what we're doing right now Got One more area to show you let's hop over here so as you can see, even in a room this size, we still create little zones. So over here, we've got the extra seating. This chair is actually from Ikea. I keep saying that I wanna replace this chair and part of it is just because it is Ikea, just to be perfectly honest. Like I would love to have something that feels a little bit more high end in this space, but it really does work in, in here because of the scale. And I needed a smaller scale piece in order to get the big fat coffee table in here that I really want. So sometimes you have to make some sacrifices because even the restoration hardware chairs that they have that are petite, they just look, I don't know, they're not my favorite. So I'm open to if the right thing came along, I would maybe switch this out. But in the meantime, it is modern and I've got my favorite blanket on here that's from West Elm. At the moment, I've still got a transitional style with a little bit of the fur and my, my art piece that I made myself, an inexpensive lamp from Amazon. And you know, it's not done. I have ideas and things, but I think it's really fun to see how a space can grow over time so that you can decide if you aren't one of those people that has the budget to do it all in one day. This is the way to build it and slowly switch things out because for example, this coffee table, I think that they're like, they're under a hundred dollars, I think for this table. And I would either sell it or use it for someone else's space. It's a great coffee table. It's just that I like to have a lot of books on my table and the bottom shelf bows. So it's stuff like that, that I'm like, I can live with it. It's not the end of the world, but I would love to be able to finish this room out. So you guys can let me know what you guys think of the interim spring, early spring, let's call it that. It's the early spring edition of the sunroom. I, I know that we're really enjoying it. And even though it's not perfect, we still just really enjoy it. And I think that that's how each of our spaces should be is that life is too short to, <laughs> to wait until it's all perfect and we should just enjoy it as it is. I hope it'll just encourage you, no matter where you are, whether you are ready to just pull the bandaid off and do your entire room all in one fell swoop, or you're still in the process of putting it together, that you just find some encouragement here that just enjoy your space wherever you are, enjoy your day and your life because it's short and that's what life's all about is enjoying every day and every minute of it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna grab my coffee. Whew. All right, so thank you again for joining us. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the space and um, hopefully, you will love, <laughs> hopefully you will love it and wanna hit the uh, thumbs up, like button. And if you'd like to see more sneak peeks and more photos of the space, if you're one of those people that likes to see the photos and be able to save them, I do post more of that on my Instagram accounts. I've got the House of Valentina and Valentina Fussell. So um, thank you again for stopping by. I feel like it's like, it's always like friends have stopped by and I just love that so much. 
<laughs> so thank you again for stopping by. Cheers. I'll see you soon.